News conference yesterday, the president discussed a story in the New York Times that says his coronavirus task force briefings get high TV ratings. Even they said that the ratings are like Monday night football ratings and that these are like bachelor finale. Now that the relief package has passed, the Wall Street Journal is reporting this, quote, Mr. Trump has told people he wants his signature to appear on the direct payment checks that will go out to many Americans in the coming weeks. President Trump is firing back at governors who have been critical of his administration's response to the pandemic, even telling the vice president that if they aren't appreciative, don't even bother reaching out. I want them to be appreciative. And I say, Mike, don't call the governor of Washington. You're wasting your time with him. Don't call the woman in Michigan. It doesn't make any difference what happens. If they don't treat you right, I don't call. Wow. Okay. Uh, firstly, the ratings aren't high because of Trump. People are watching TV because of the virus. That's why they're watching the briefings. This would be like the, the guy on Friends who owns the coffee shop taking credit for the success of the show. Yeah, it was all because of my lattes, you know? That's why people watched. No, you just happen to be there, dude. Secondly, Trump wasn't even involved in the negotiations for the relief package, and now he wants the credits. This is the classic deadbeat dad technique, yeah? Just trying to put his name on a gift at the last minute. And lastly, I can't believe that Trump is threatening, actually threatening, not to help governors of certain states because he feels that they're not being nice to him. Let me tell you something. A crisis is not a time for manners, right? People need to get life-saving equipment. Can you imagine a doctor in an emergency room being like, I'm sorry, ma'am, your husband didn't make it. I mean, I could have saved him, but he uh, just didn't say the magic word. He was in a coma. Yeah, manners are manners, ma'am. So, being obsessed with yourself, very presidential. But also, if you watched Tiger King, you would know that Joe Exotic is the most disorganized person you will ever meet. And when it comes to coronavirus, Trump is exactly the same. On Sunday, President Trump again resisted invoking the Defense Production Act, wartime authority to mobilize industries. Call a person over in Venezuela, ask him how did nationalization of their businesses work out? Not too well. After days of uncertainty, the president has now actually invoked what's called the Defense Production Act. President Trump says that he is now considering federally enforced quarantines for hotspots like New York and other states. President Trump tweeting overnight that a federally enforced quarantine of the region will not be necessary. President Trump wants to reopen the country by Easter Sunday. President Trump now calling for more social distancing than ever, firmly backing away from his earlier suggestion that parts of the country could reopen by Easter. God damn, man. Trump is flip-flopping so much, if the Olympics weren't canceled, he'd be competing against Simone Biles. Because what was that? Huh? And you know who this really sucks for? is Donald Trump's supporters. I feel so sad for them. Imagine how hard it is for them to keep up. Trump is changing his mind all the time. They have to support him no matter what he says. Huh? They're just out there like, if you force companies to make things, you're turning America into Venezuela. What? Trump did it? It's a good thing to become Venezuela because they've got great weather. I, I think?